Did you know that at all times of the day, no matter where you are in the country, there's an airplane flying over your house at all times? It may be 500 feet if you're closer to an airport or 32,000 feet or if you are out in the boonies somewhere. You know what? You're right. So nobody can brag because at any moment, an airplane tire can fall through your house. So if it falls through your house, what you gonna do? Shit, I'm reaching for my phone. Where my lawyer at? I'm gonna call my lawyer first, then call 911 because we finna get paid. Ah! <laughs> do it for the hood for. Yeah, yeah. What's up, hood folks? This your boy Rashad. And this Jeremy. So today we are out at. What is this called again? Dave's Hot Chicken. I be forgetting. I mean, we do videos. He be like, we gonna go to McDonald's and we get to McDonald's. Like, what we at? Oh, this McDonald's, yeah. So yeah, we at Dave Hot Chicken and let me show y'all some images, some booze, some visuals, or some of what we saw. Is that a gag over the chicken mouth? Right there? What the fuck is that red thing over the chicken mouth right there? Is that a gag? No, that's it. Like a sex oh. toy? You put it in your mouth and uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> well, damn. All right, here, folks. So we are out here at Dave's Hot Chicken. We about to go in here and see what it's all about. Dave, don't disappoint me. Because if you disappoint me, we going to be talking bad about your head. No, we're not getting you, Connor Chan, bro. Look at Connor Chan, bro. I don't want to get in the camera. 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 Anyway, but we finna go to Dave's Hot Chicken, y'all. All right, so I went inside of the Day's Hot Chicken. That's a menu board. They got some stuff on there. And I want to try that cauliflower, but uh-uh. They, they got it fixed up a little nice in here. Look like an old damn cafeteria to me, them white walls and towel. <laughs> I look up, so I got the mild fries. That sauce that everybody got, like I told you about. Pickles. And they gave me three tons. I thought you to get me two. It is. It's a two tender, bro. I... And they so big and meaty. Damn, this a whole chicken patty right there. They must saw me in the car say, "Yeah, that big motherfucker ready to dig in," but not really. <laughs> Let me show him yours. And Rashad got medium fries, light bread. This is light bread. People say, "What is light bread?" This is what you call light bread. You take this piece of bread, put it together, you make a damn sandwich. You got the pickles and everything else. How much did these plates cost? These two plates cost? They were eleven ninety nine. So what was the total price? Twenty five dollars and some change. Damn. Are right, you ready to get a thumbnail? Yeah, let's get a thumbnail. I can't even see. You can't see us, sir. How do I look? Shiny. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Alright. So, hood folks, after that whack video Rashad did the other day with that nasty shrimp that smelled like underarms, <laughs> I told him we want I wanted some French fries. I you I take I have a craving for French fries. And a lot of these restaurants be showing the French fries and that would bring me to the restaurant. And these are good. Mm-hmm. Have y'all been to Dave Hot Chicken before? Have you been here before? No, I haven't. I haven't tried this before. You know, somebody told us that we should bring back food virgins. Um, the only reason I don't want to bring back food virgins, me personally, because too much free advertising. True. Because right. we advertising for the company and bringing in business if it's good. Even if it's not good, people still gonna go try it. If we say it's not good, the people gonna try it. And then we don't get nothing out of it, so I don't know about no food virgins. I can't believe they gave me three pieces of meat, and I didn't even ask for three pieces of meat. Yeah. If I would have asked for three pieces of meat, they wouldn't have gave us three pieces of meat. Right, and look, these things are huge. Yeah, they are pretty big. Now it's time to taste them and see if they good. Cause just because it's big don't mean it's good. <laughs> Give me a paper towel. <laughs> mm. It actually got some good flavor. I got the medium, so mine's a little spicier than his. But man, fuck. 
Oh, it landed right on the bag. Perfect. Bro, what was the last place we went to? Uh, Main Birds? Or... No, the last chicken place they had that awful chicken. Damn. It was so bad, I can't remember. Anyway. Oh, uh, something cook shack, cook shack, chicken shack. I don't know. Y'all, the, the last shack, video like we that. did, what I talked about was Nancy. Okay, now I can, I can really do this this time. Y'all, this is a hundred out of ten. This is this is this is ten times better than this? that other place. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got mild. So if you like spice, maybe you should get spice. Flavor good, medium, tender, juicy, good. I'm telling, this is worth worth it. This is a. Um, this is good. This is definitely good. Now, if this can make me change my mind on going plant-based all the time. Because this is really flavorful and this is really good. And these fruit fries are him. <clears throat> I don't know what Dave was doing, but Dave doing his damn thing with this chicken. Yeah. He did his thing with this chicken. What'd you give it? I give it a 9 out of 5. Uh, 9.5. A what? A 9.5. And only because I'm not gonna give them all that hype. I'm giving because the they had to check in. They had if you check in online, you get a free soft drink or uh, a shake. Why you didn't check in online? Damn? I did, but then you had to leave a review. I leave a review and log into my email. I ain't doing all that, bro. Well, they, we you should say, well, we finna do a video review. That makes more views and more money. So yeah, Dave Hot Chicken, I, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank you for uh, treating me to something about some. Y'all, he did that video the other day in the fish place. That was trash. That was really, really trash. Cause I thought we finna eat fish. Cause I kind of would taste them like, yeah, I can. I guess I'll go with some fish. I ended up going home, eating some more of my chili, my meat-free chili I made last week. The chili was still good. It's just I had got kind of burnt out on the chili. And I know I told y'all I was going to do either sloppy joes or spaghetti on another video. But, uh-uh, y'all. My soul just told me don't waste no more ingredients because we ate that chili for a while. He ate the chili the next day, and that was a wrap. And then I ended up eating the chili two more days, and I was like, damn, it's a lot of chili. And so I ended up trashing the rest of it. It was so good. The flavor was so good. It's just that... I couldn't get over how the walnuts were still kind of like crunchy despite me doing everything that the vegans say they do to make their meat substitute taste good. Yeah, it was very nutty. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to her, folks. Like, like you said, the flavor was there. The flavor was hitting. But it just tastes like it was just like you can still taste the walnuts. They were actually kind of still, they had a crunchiness to it. I thought. And I don't like my chili to be crunchy, only but with some crackers. <laughs> I thought that when I soaked it in that hot ass water for over eight hours, that it was going to make the nuts soft, but that didn't work. And then I thought that when I put in the chili together and let it cook another hour, that that was going to make it work. That didn't work either. I was like, damn. And so. I'm gonna still try. I'm still gonna go go and try different meat substitutes. Now I don't have no desire for beans. I know some people say try chickpeas. Now I don't like peas. And mm -mm 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 -mm. well, we should try it. Mm -mm. Cause I remember the first time I tried I tasted hummus, and I was like, hummus. It tastes okay. And then as I kept eating hummus, I was like, oh my god, this is actually nasty as hell. I don't like no hummus. It's like eating. It's like eating, I don't know, just like eating a, a spoonful of potpourri or something. I don't know, it just, <laughs> it, was, it was nasty. You no, know, no, hummus is good. It all depends on what brand you get or where you get it from. I hate when people say that. You got to know which brand to get. Hummus is hummus. If I was to put some fat coochie lips in your face and you don't have no desire for coochie at the moment, it don't matter who coochie it is, you just don't want to look at the man that stole somebody's bucket. Look at this motherfucker, him. Look at him shoot. So I ain't gonna recall him because you know I don't know who family member this is. And y'all know how I told y'all. You can I can say something about somebody and y'all be wanna fight in there. I don't you know. 
You know something? I'm talking about it's a bank right here. Ain't no damn bank right here. You go park right here for real. Yeah. Yeah, now that the ATM is gone. Somebody snatched that up. <laughs> a taking machine. ATM means a taking machine. A taking machine. <laughs> Let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. Y'all see what I mean? Oh, the dude. Look at old Joe. Look at Joe that stole somebody buggy. But I thought I, I thought it was an ATM right here. Cause I was told I was gonna tell him to park right here, but we parked back here, and I didn't realize the ATM was gone. So somebody stole the ATM. ATM stands for a taking machine. <laughs> that machine is gone. Why? Oh, come on, David. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta eat slow. So, bang. Tell them what happened the other night. Ooh, let me tell y'all what happened on the night. So, the other night, I was experiencing a, a nighttime eclipse called the Renewable Energy Eclipse. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I noticed that when I talk, some things I talk about on Instagram, y'all don't be liking, and some stuff y'all be liking, and I be like, oh, okay. When I talk about getting... When I talk about getting revenge back or being prepared for fucking somebody up that do you wrong, I realize y'all don't like them kind of posts. But when I talk a little goofy stuff, y'all like that, which is kind of weird. But I made a post and I was recording the moon, and it was this was Thursday night, right? Yeah, Thursday night, and I was recording the moon because it was a, this, the moon looked like it was having a, another eclipse. And so I was on the video, I was telling you all, if you're a woman. Make sure you have a gun. I'm telling you, get you a gun. Know how to use your gun. Know how to clean your gun. Know how to prepare your gun. Y'all be talking about, I ain't gonna get no gun. The law gonna fight my battle. Bitch, you finna see the law. <laughs> I'm being straight up. A lot of y'all be. Yeah, because I mean. <laughs> in certain situations. But like I was saying, the while I was recording the video, the dog, the dog was sitting by my leg and he was chilling. I was like, we were just chilling out there in the front, front door. Next down though, the dog saw a cat. That dog took off running, and that dog one hit, one listen to nothing I was saying. Y'all, I was screaming at that dog like I was a white hole in a scary movie. Bossy, come back here! And I was hollering like I was in distress. If somebody would heard me, they like, damn, is somebody killing that dude? That, I mean, my boy was up there, the rapture. And that damn dog took off running like a greyhound. I said, I should have booked the ticket and let him took me back down to the mountain. That <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> running like a greyhound. I had to get in the truck, drive way up the street. The dog was standing, just sitting on the side of the road because he had saw a cat and he took off chasing at this cat. And he's sitting on the side of the road just chilling. And then when I got the truck, I said, boss, get your ass in here. He looking at me like, do I know you? I want, I'm telling you, animal abuse and through, I mean, I want to just choke something that dog. But I said, too many motherfucking white folks right here for me to get it. So I, and they was like, oh. Don't fuss at the poor baby. I want to put a transmission in they back too. Talking about fussing the poor baby. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. And that dog made me so mad because I was like, I'm trying to get my video recorded. He ran it off at the damn cat. And I told him about it and he didn't believe me. I had to show him proof from the ring camera of him dog, his dog taking off. He was like, oh shit, he did do it. That motherfucker, I seen him. Jeremy was looking at the sky. Next minute I know, I see him dip down his head. He seen that cat. He took off. That motherfucker was gone. I said, what the hell? And I was pissed off because I'm at work. And I was pissed off. I'm like, man, this is some BS. Y'all too bad. And yeah, he I, I didn't beat him or anything, but he he was uh deprived from certain activities. You didn't beat him? Nah. Oh. So you didn't see the the, the nanny cam there. You took your nanny cam down? Oh, okay. Good things. Dogs are like elderly and babies. They can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Put some elbows at the back. You fucking get your bitch. Well, no, nah, I, I just, I cussed him out. I called him a bad dog for the rest of the night. And he was all up under me like, I'm sorry, and all this and that. I but, know. Man, he didn't get no treats for like a day. Then we left the day. I gave him one of his little doggy bones. Damn kangaroo dog, all all up here. I'm like, damn, get the fuck back. Jumping up, and then he was like, well, that's too high, so I'm gonna just get me some leverage. Grabbed onto him and jumped up a little higher. But I, yeah, so. I put another video on Instagram last night about this dude was eating steak. 
and he let his dog eat. He cut a piece of steak for himself, mm -hmm. and then he cut a steak for his dog, and he gave the dog the steak, and they ate off the same fork and stuff. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, that's just nasty to me. Mm -mm. Because mm -mm. Yeah, I'm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. do y'all let y'all dogs eat mm -mm. off your forks? I don't. That ain't no never happened in my household. So, a lot of y'all ask why we don't bring the dog with us to do videos no more. The dog be mm mm, that nasty. I, I mean, I, licking himself. We we made a we made a pack not a pack we made an agreement. I, I, I'm cool with him having his dog, which I really don't want the dog. But I don't want the dog around my food. And even when I'm cooking, I know y'all see me in the background. He don't be in the kitchen kitchen when I'm cooking cooking. Now I already told him if I ever cook in a dish and see dog in my dish, the dog is out. Bye bye. So long, bye 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 bye. So long, bye 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 bye. Slim, bye 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 bye. <laughs> anyway, so, but yeah, he knows not to come in the kitchen, especially when we in there cooking. Um, I can tell you this: when we eating, I got it to the point where he not he not around me when I eat. Like he'll he'll look, but he not around me. Jeremy, he be looking at him begging. And I told Jeremy, I said, look, just tell him to stop begging. That don't work. Do he come around me when, I, when I'm eating? He'll stay away from me, don't he? Yeah. He'll just look from afar. I'm telling you, you got you to gotta put it in his head. Like, don't come around me while I'm eating. Like, nah, bro. Y'all, these allergies have been doing me so bad. My eyes will be crying and leaking. My eyes is really leaking like a faucet. <sighs> Speaking of faucet... What would you do if you call you in a relationship, you married, or you in a relationship, right? Mm. And you call yourself in the cheat and bring somebody over to your house, like, yo, oh, yeah, we finna get it in. And while y'all in the middle of getting it in, that motherfucker didn't take their pressure pills and they fuck around and have a stroke or a heart attack and die at your house. But I'm telling oh. you, like, oh my god, bitch, you better get your ass up and die in the yard or somewhere. Yeah. I'll be, ooh, I'm, I'd be so mad, I'd be beating the day. I'd be going to jail for uh, fucking up a dead corpse. I'd like, get your bitch ass up out of here, died at my house. And then, I'd be so fucking mad. Then you imagine you call the police, the ambulance to your house, then your, then your wife or husband be like, what the ambulance doing tonight? <laughs> like, I don't know, somebody came to deliver the package and they ass. <laughs> <laughs> they ass tipped over. It, they weren't unsuccessful at delivering their package. <laughs> be, you had package to, undelivered. You have to think about this though, like when you call yourself gonna step out, like the person could die at your house. Cause people just die. It don't, it don't have to be like 90 year old people die. You could be 20 and die and just yeah. be around the house and just fall dead. Like, what the fuck? Because you're either high off something, you did something that. Or uh, eating this every day, fried chicken every day, no vegetable. Um, eating potatoes. I go potatoes. <laughs> well, yeah. That would be some crazy stuff. That would really be, be some crazy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> so we had started recording a, a vlog last week, right? Yeah. And we started the vlog in the in the 99 cent store. Though I know that 99 cent store finna go out of business. We just didn't put the video up because we had a conversation. We had a conversation in the video that was so funny, and I said, "No, nah, we ain't gonna put this up because." Our audience is too triggered. They get triggered. People get triggered by stuff. But I will tell you one thing we were talking about. I remember when I first got to Dallas, I was working at this call center. And we was, it was make, okay, people who have insurance claims, life insurance, I should say, they would call and verify their benefits. So that was our job. Yes, you got life insurance. Your policy is 50000 Your policy is 20000 whatever. And we had, I had this supervisor, and he had Parkinson's disease. And he was... A shaker. He wasn't moving a shaker. So, but we one one weekend, one was Friday. We was at work, and we cut up so bad on, at the job. We, they heard when they were listening back to the calls, they was hearing how we were laughing in the background and making all that noise. And the supervisor didn't like that. And so when he came to work that Tuesday, he got us all on the pod. He said, "I will listen to y'all call. Y'all were making too much noise. Y'all are too destructive some people may lose their job today some people may get fired some people gonna be changed but we're gonna we're gonna get things handled on this flow we're gonna have order on this flow and he was going out telling us we're gonna move here move here and all i said was i said oh you shaking things up today 
Everybody on the team bus are laughing and they walked me right on out to the right, right onto my car. I was fine like that. <laughs> 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 it's an earthquake. <laughs> you were jarred. <laughs> So, so we had started talking about that, and y'all, it was other stuff we were saying. I said, "Nah, I ain't gonna put this on YouTube." Yeah, we no. can't do that. <laughs> we couldn't do that because that 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 um, damn video would have been flagged from like a, a thousand people. <laughs> but anyway, Dave's Hot Chicken. I will definitely come back again if in I'm about in a month. If I'm in the mood for this, um. I made a big ass salad last night for us to eat, but we didn't eat the salad because I know I want some dish. So we actually fasted last night. Yep. Which I'm surprised. I'm proud of myself. Cause I, so we didn't eat nothing last night. And so I'm happy we got this. So we're going to eat the salad the, 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 the night for dinner uh -huh. and tomorrow. Uh -huh. I'm about to take a picture, put it on Instagram, and show y'all the salad that I made. And Ooh, and that turkey. It's Ooh, so good. I tasted the flavor of that turkey, baby. Good at so juicy, I'm, so I'm, tender. And that kale, I made him a kale salad one night back in too. It was so good, God. So we do eat. Why healthy. are you shaking? I'm shaking, bro. So we do eat healthy, nine nine to nine eighty percent of the time, right? Yes, right. we do. All right, folks. I think that's all I got for this video. This day is good. That's all I got. Who you got to tell them, man? Who hey, got like, comment. Oh, stop a minute. I want to clear one thing up because I think some of y'all getting it twisted. I call him bruh. I never call him girl. Somebody said, ooh, he call him girl a lot. I don't never call, because they be saying, bruh, come on and get the chicken. Bruh, no, bruh. I call him bruh, like bro, bruh. I never call him girl, I'm never gonna call him girl. I'm never gonna misgender him. <laughs> You're gonna respect my gender. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cis man. <laughs> I'm they <Faith> them. <laughs> I'm they them. All right, huh, folks. So like, comment, subscribe, and I or they will hit you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man, god damn. <laughs> Peace, man. Peace. Peace, man. <laughs> they are not gonna like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Who that be? Hood folk. Who we are? Hood folk. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folk. Who that be? Hood folk. Who we are? Hood folk. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. 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 Yeah, yeah.